Ontario students are not performing as well as they should be when it comes to math. And the province thinks it has a $60 million solution and it includes an hour of math every day. Shannon Martin has been researching how students perform and how they can be helped. And is an hour a day good enough Monday to Friday for them? Well, here, let me answer you with yes, a question, an equation. <laughs> <laughs> 60 minutes a day, five days a week equals five hours a week. But according to experts, all that time is still not enough for some kids. Okay. So first one. First After two. school and on the agenda for these teens is math. Like I come in here a lot and I'm like, how does this apply to the world? Like it doesn't, why do I need to know this? A struggle not just for them, but a persistent problem across the province. Since 2009, math scores among grade three students have flatlined, just two thirds meeting provincial standards. By grade six, it only gets worse. As recently as the 2013-2014 school year, only 54% of grade sixes met Ontario standards. A lot of parents will say like, I'm really worried, you know, my son's in grade two and he's already starting to hate math. Like, what, what do I do? So for kids to be deciding at such a young age that it's not for them, that means there's a problem. We need to figure out how to help the students who are struggling with math. Ontario's Minister of Education announced the province's solution, more funding and more time in the classroom, a minimum of 60 minutes of math instruction every day for grades 1 through 8. Hiring at least three math lead teachers in all elementary schools and making some secondary school principals leaders in math improvement. If teachers are spending more time on math <clears throat> and getting more training, that they be allowed to innovate and try new things. John Mighton created Jump Math, a charity that helps support teachers and parents. He says while investing in math is crucial, so is innovation. Kids need more guidance than we think, more practice. It's important that they discover things and figure things out, but they need a lot more guidance. You need your math. And equally important, keeping kids engaged, something that starts with confidence. I was never confident going into a math test. Now I have a good sense going into it, and I know that I have so much support around me. Confidence is key. The new math strategy, Dwight, is expected to begin this fall. And you mentioned that it's teachers that are math leads and, you know, what will they be doing? Well, these are new positions, but they will be hired from educators within the school. So they're going to be the experts on hand. So they will get additional professional training and leading the way when it comes to improving math. There's also... Uh, positions that will be in elementary schools mm -hmm. for parents, because I know you <laughs> yes. often get asked for help, I do. right? I mean, I, have, I got my kids tutors, but what about those people who can't afford a tutor for their kid maybe, right? Right, so the province is saying they're gonna offer additional help for kids grades six through nine outside of school, and they're also going to be uploading more resources online for parents like yourself who yes. can't figure out the math That's, problems, but they go. need to help, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Shannon. You're welcome.